Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from Video Games Recon, and in this series of videos, I will be discussing all of the weapons from Call of Duty Ghosts, giving my opinion on the weapon in question and its characteristics. Keep in mind this video will probably be released before any patches, so the guns may change somewhat by the time you watch this video. And as an FYI, this series was filmed before I had prestiged and thus obviously didn't have all the weapons available to compare, so most of the footage in this series will feature bots. Also all weapons in this series will have like for like attachments where possible to try and make the comparison fair. Anywho. Enough of my jibber jabber, and without any further ado, let's do it to it. The USR is the first of the bolt action sniper rifles currently available, and comes with a recoil compensator, which will reduce kick with every kill you get, meaning the higher your weapon streak, the more manageable the weapon becomes. This gun has low to medium damage for its class and is practically a one hit kill at close to medium range when hit from the waist up. It also has the best accuracy but by such a small amount that it's practically negligible. However, it does have the fastest fire rate of the bolt action sniper rifles and the best mobility of all the sniper rifles, probably making it the most balanced and accessible weapon in its class. The L115 is the second bolt action sniper rifle available and also comes with an integrated recoil compensator. This rifle has slightly higher damage than the USR and is a one hit kill at most ranges as long as you get a hit from the knee up. It also comes with good overall mobility. Unfortunately this weapon is let down by the fact that it has the slowest fire rate and the smallest magazines in this category. That being said, it's understandable why this is the case, as otherwise this weapon would be way too overpowered and wouldn't give any of the other sniper rifles a look in. This is the first of the semi-automatic sniper rifles and is one of the most powerful weapons in this category, which feels and sounds like a little beast when fired. Also, it has solid accuracy, range and fire rate. That being said, the mobility of this rifle is the slowest in an already slow class, which really hurts this weapon unless you want to keep switching to your secondary all the time, as otherwise you're left feeling like a sitting duck when crossing a particularly long line of sight. And although the Lynx is fun to use, unless you're a really good sniper or are planning to camp on an objective or from a single position, you may want to give this gun a miss. VKS is another one of those weird weapons, as it comes with an integrated silencer, which can be very useful for a sniper rifle, helping you to keep off the map and also practically giving you a free attachment slot. Which unlike a lot of other weapons with integrated silencers, doesn't lose a significant amount of power compared to the other rifles in this class. It also has good accuracy, range, mobility and the best fire rate in the sniper rifle category. However, Aside from all those great features, this weapon is really let down by the high recoil and kickback given off, making it really hard to get anything other than one hit kills as it's just way too tempting to spam the trigger, which with such unmanageable recoil gets you nowhere but dead. So that's my thoughts and analysis of the sniper rifle class so far. This category is probably one of the hardest for me to get my head around, as I'm not a natural sniper. However, I have had a lot of fun using and attempting to quickscope with these guns, as the sniper rifles are more balanced in Call of Duty Ghosts, and the maps seem to be geared more towards a slower pace of game, which suits the sniper rifle and marksman classes much more than in a lot of other Call of Duty games. Anywho, 
As I touched on at the start of this video, it's still early days in the life of Call of Duty Ghosts, so my opinion on these guns may change over time. But for now, this is how I feel about the characteristics and usefulness of the weapons available so far. With that being said, it's now time to pick a best and worst gun in this category. So the best gun in this category is for me a little confusing, as I'm not the best sniper in the world. That being said, it is a clear toss up between the USR and the L115, as the other two weapons are way too niche to do all the things you need of a sniper rifle. Anyway, the USR has a higher fire rate and the greatest mobility of the two, and the L115 has great damage over all ranges and is much better at one hit kills. So which of these guns is the best for you really depends on how good a sniper you are. As if you're a good sniper, the L115 is probably the best rifle to go with, as you won't need to go for as many second shots, presuming you can acquire the target the first time round, that is. However, the USR is tailored more towards a less experienced sniper, with its higher rate of fire and greater mobility, so it really comes down to your skill level as to which is best. And as for the worst, that is a much easier answer to come up with seeing the VKS coming in last due to its semi-automatic fire combined with its unmanageable recoil, as at least the Lynx can be useful for camping, as the only thing the VKS is useful for is for staying off the radar, which can easily be acquired with any other weapon by simply adding a silencer attachment. So, that was my opinion on the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. Feel free to leave your thoughts on the guns featured in this video in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing for more BS of a similar nature. Thank you and goodbye.